Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create this sci-fi loop in Blender with geometry nodes. So let's get started. First hit Shift A and add a plane. Go to geometry nodes and click on new, add a subdivide mesh node and set it to 4. Let's also add an instance on points node and add a cube and use that as the instance. Plug the mesh into the instance, set the size for x and y to 0 0.05 and for the z let's set it to 0. Add a realize instances node and put it here. Add another subdivide mesh node and now let's set this to 2. I'm going to leave it at 2 for now because otherwise it will slow everything down. Add an extrude mesh node, put that here and add a set material node and put it here. Go to the material properties, click on new and select the material here. To make this loop add a mask wave texture, go here and open a new window, set it to timeline. If you are using 24 or 30 frames per second, you can leave the end frame at 250, but I am going to set the frame rate to 60 and the end frame to 500. Duplicate the mask wave texture and add a mix node and put it here. Plug the result into the offset scale. Let's also set them to 40. And now let's set this W to minus 1. Keyframe it. And set this one to 1. And keyframe it. Plug this height into A and this one into B. And set the factor to 0. Make sure you are on frame 1 when adding the keyframes. Now go to the last frame and skip one frame. Here let's set the W to 1. Keyframe it. And here set it to minus 1 and keyframe it. And set the factor to 1 and keyframe it. Now select all of these nodes and make sure the plane is selected. Here in the timeline press A and T and set it to linear. And now if we play the animation we've got something like this. I'm also going to add a map range node. Put that here. Set the to minimum to minus 0.3 and the to maximum to 0.6. Save now. Let's change the size on the x and y axis here and make sure that the cubes are not intersecting. I'm going to set it to 0.1. Save again and go to shading. I'm going to use circles but you can also use EV. Set the max sample to 250. Go to color management and set the fusions form to filmic and the look to very high contrast. In the world properties I'm going to go here and disconnect the HDI and set it to black. Hit shift A and add a light area. Press R, X and 180. Set the size to 2. Set the power to 50. If you're using AV you're probably going to have to set it higher. Select the plane and let's set the metallic here to 1. Add a bump node and plug the normal into the normal. If you're using EV you can leave the strength at 1. If you're using cycles I recommend that you set it to 1000. Add a Voronoi texture and plug the position into the height. With the node selected press Ctrl T. Now let's use the object output. Set the scale here to 25 and now as you can see we are getting this effect here. Let's also set this to Chebyshev. Save again and go back to geometry nodes and now let's set the subdivide mesh here to 4. Go back to layout node. Now let's press delete and run on the numpad and now 6 3 times and 8 twice. Hit shift A and add a camera. In the object data properties set the focal length to 230. Press Ctrl Alt 0. Now let's press G and set twice and move it back. Hit shift A and add an empty plane axis. Go into front view, press G, set and Ctrl and move it up. Back in camera view, press G and shift Z and put it here. Select the camera again. Enable depth for field and select the empty. Go here and enable depth for field. I'm going to set the f sub to 2.6 and the blades to 16. Go to compositing. You only have to add the denoise node if you use cycles. Make sure to enable use nodes. You won't find this option if you are using EV. If you are using cycles then enable it. It will give you these outputs here. You don't have to do this if you don't want to but I want to add some grain. So I'm going to add a texture node and a mix node, put that here, set the factor to 0 0.035. Now plug the color into the image here. Here in the texture properties, click on new and select clouds. Set the size to zero. Now let's select the texture here. In the output properties, select an output folder. I'm going to set the file format to JPEG and the quality to 100%. If you want, you can go to the render properties, 
go to performance and enable persistent data and go to render and enable lock interface. This will speed up the render. Now let's save again and press Ctrl F12. Once it's done rendering, close this window and go to video editing. In the output property, set the file format to FFmpeg video, the encoding container to MPEG4 and the output quality to high quality. Make sure you're on frame one. Hit Shift A, image sequence and find the folder where you have the images. Save again and press Ctrl F12. Feel free to like and subscribe. If you liked this tutorial, then you're probably also going to like the one that is on screen now. I'll see you next time.